Slap yourself if you sold BTC under ten, ten, ten thousand dollars and F2. Hello guys, welcome back to another exciting video from our channel. The buzz around cryptocurrencies and NFT is high as ever, and it wasn't going to be long before someone decided to put the technology into gaming. And surprise, surprise, it actually didn't. It is in use for a while now, and every game developer is on the road to adapting it, or have already used the technology to increase their revenues. In this video today, we will tell you about 7 of those top new NFT games you must check out. But before we do, subscribe to our channel and stay tuned till the end. Before we begin with our NFT games, here is an NFT project you must check out as well. Introducing Project Origin. Project Origin consists of 10,000 unique NFTs. The artwork speaks for itself and they've amassed over 4,000 plus members in just three days. Community wallet and utility will be created to ensure the future ongoing developments of the project. There will be a whitelist for you to purchase an NFT before the public drop, so join the Discord now. Their Discord and other socials are linked in the description below. Number 7. Dragon Mainland Inspired by the movie How to Train Your Dragon, Dragon Mainland is an encrypted collection game with PvP battles, PvE combat, advanced reproduction, free trading, collection and trading elements. Dragon Mainland introduces many innovations in the blockchain gaming space, including DeFi collateral mining, dynamic game rare attributes, DAO managed game mechanics, etc. and uses a revolutionary token economic system. Through the in-game tokens, DMS and DMP, they aim to be the next Axie Infinity with an even better ecosystem and sustainability. The gameplay will consist of adventure play PvE, where players can command their dragons to fight monsters, to gain experience and DMP token rewards. Match play PvP, where you can participate in open tournaments and battle against other players dragons for DMP and lastly adventure play PvE where you absorb dragon bones and devour dragons to strengthen and upgrade your dragon. There will only be 10,000 initial original dragon NFTs excluding breeding so start minting them as soon as possible. Lastly, with a superb experienced developers team who has worked with Blizzard, GoChain, Incline and much more. This is a blockchain game you must not miss. Do remember to follow all of Dragon Mainland's social media platforms. The links are in the description below so you won't miss all of their latest news and announcements. Number 6. Mirai Universe in the Mirai Universe, it's all about being free and doing what you love. The main thing that the Mirai Universe team are focusing on is creating the most entertaining and exciting game possible and making money while playing is just a consequence. They will combine the best aspects from the MMORPG genre and the metaverses, all powered by Dollar Money, the in-game token. Mirai Universe will be a virtual reality space 3D AAA MMORPG in which users can interact with the generated environment and other players, creating amazing friendships but also having exciting battles from a classic MMORPG. Players will be free to choose the path that they want and do whatever they please. You can become a fighter, join a clan and raid dungeons with your friends. Doing jobs to gain resources, creating your own business for passive income using Mirai Estate or just explore the universe and socialize. They also have their marketplace for Mirai with drops of 100 Mirai every 2 to 3 days. They currently plan to have their token listing on CG and CMC once the market crash is over. Interested in being free and doing whatever you want on a blockchain metaverse? Buy Mirai Universe NFTs now and follow all of their social media platforms too. All the links are in the description below. Number 5. Nine Chronicles A completely decentralized fantasy world enhanced by players who can play, mine and govern with other players. They are dungeons and you will explore to find unique monsters in nine different areas. To be competitive and strong enough, you can collect and combine raw materials by processing them into unique items with unique recipes. Like all RPGs, it has skills, buffs, debuffs, gear and elementals that allow you to challenge other players to the arena and take the lead. 
You can also exchange cards in the marketplace, invest in gear, and earn rewards in gold. Arena Season 0 began on September the 8th and will offer $896,000 from the first Arena season. This is a reward of over $2 million. Weekly, based on rank, there are rewards at the end of the season. Over the weekend, the top 500 will win dollar NCG. Two skins reward about 70 to 80 players in total. Mythical skins are awarded only to a few top players, and legendary rewards are awarded to another 70 players. Number 4. Gods Unchained Magic the Gathering's former director is mentioned in general management. The game has elements similar to Hearthstone, Magic the Gathering, Gwent, The Witcher, and Yu-Gi-Oh! It is based on a player versus player duel, where you fight other players and use the strength strategy, and other tricks of your cards to reduce your opponent's life points to zero. They are ranked systems aimed at connecting players with similar ranks and skills. Cards are purchased or earned by beating other players. Each time you win, you will gain experience points and move on to the next level or rank. Each card is backed up with an ERC721 token. Therefore, you can trade on native and third-party marketplaces. If you decide to sell your tickets on the gaming system, you will receive Dollar Gods token. Be careful not to be scammed as it has not yet been officially released. Number 3. Sandbox 3D This game can be popular amongst Minecraft and Roblox users and Dollar Land tokens. This is a voxel-based game where you build and trade virtual assets. There is a map where you can buy land using the NFT token Dollar Land. There are also Dollar Sand and ERC20 tokens used to purchase in-game assets and items. The Dollar Sand token is a currency used for staking as well as preserving land, NFT, governance and player value. It only runs on Ethereum. The Sandbox platform includes Vox Edit 3D, create assets such as monsters, turn them into NFTs and sell them on the market. It can be created with voxels. Marketplace enables trading of assets created by NFT makers. Game Maker provides the ability to create games for free with no coding knowledge. When creating an asset, some gems and catalysts define tiers, rarities and attributes. Catalyst adds an empty socket via a gem-filled NFT. The higher the quality of the Catalyst, the more socket assets you have. Number 2. Splinterland A blockchain-based NFT card game that runs on the Hive engine. First, you need to create an account on the Splinterland website. Provide email and password. The easiest way to play is to use the Brave browser, but you can play it on Mozilla, Safari or Chrome. To get started, you need to purchase a starter pack, Summoner Grimoire $10. This unlocks many features such as energy crystal acquisition and purchase, allowing you to exchange cards for purchase. There are different editions, foils, rolls, rarities, elements and many combinations. Before the battle, you choose your roster and the battle begins. You will be rewarded based on the outcome of the battle. There are some pretty expensive cards out there. It's still a relatively new game, so you can make money and make money by playing the game while you enjoy it. There is also a token called Dollar Deck Dark Energy Crystals associated with the project. The current price is about $0.007 and the market capitalization is just over $7 million. Therefore, it is also advisable to consider investing in a project. Number 1. Decentraland Decentralized virtual world, you have the opportunity to deal with real estate in-game. They started in 2015 under the name Stone Age with a 2D proof of concept. There was an official public launch in February 2020. It is now a fully decentralized 3D virtual world where people can own or develop their land. Land can contain anything from static objects to interactive objects such as 3D scenes, buildings, art, games and large-scale events. The world is decentral and is divided into smaller pieces called a parcel. The plot size is 16 meter by 16 meter, the smallest piece you can own. If multiple plots are next to each other, you can merge them into the estate. The larger area that can be the subject is called a district. Each parcel is determined by the X and the Y coordinate. On the map, 
and the Dollarland ERC721 token on the Ethereum blockchain. The token holds the X and Y coordinates along with the distributed servers run by the community and holds the content needed to render the parcel in 3D. This makes a difference to Minecraft, for example, where a single entity holds everything, modifies rules, bans and makes decisions. Here, everything that belongs to the community is managed by DAO, Decentralized Autonomous Organization, and anyone can vote for the proposal. DAO manages smart contracts, estate contracts, and wearables. So that's all for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button to our channel. Let us know which of these seven you'll be playing first in the comment section down below. Until next time.